Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the workshop. It's fantastic to have you here as ever. Hope you're having a brilliant day. Today's episode goes a little like this. Of course, we've got intern Alex here, visiting from the Netherlands, working for me. I'm currently working on the Falchion. This might be in the future when you see it. And so, there are a couple of days where I have set him the task and the challenge of forging a knife. He doesn't have a lot of forging experience, so this is gonna be a jumping in the deep end type of thing, and this is gonna help share to you guys what it's like to start from the beginning with blacksmithing and knife making, and uh, he makes a hell of a fantastic progression. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoy. I'm going to light the forge. Now mind you that I've been forced to be a stock removal guy for most of my career so far. I wanna get into forging, I plan on doing that once I get back home, but here goes some practice. The forge is hot, the steel is hot, so here is a stock removal guy trying to forge a knife. I gotta tell you guys, it's been a long time since I forged something. Alec makes it look really easy, it's not. Let's see what I can do. So Alex has been doing this, he's been doing it unsupervised. I've just been kind of, you know, working on the pummel for the, for the falchion. I want to know what is the plan from here. You've got this point coming down like this, and you've already got some rather thin bevels. Tell me, run me through it. Like, what was it meant to look like when it's finished? Spear point like tip with a bevel coming along that edge. Okay, for this shape of blade, you want a much more acute angle before you even start hammering your bevels, so that as you start hammering your bevels, they can extend, and that tip has room to go up without there being this big obstruction of metal out here. And that's gonna help you get that shape a little bit better, as well as this material that was there moves out that way. Otherwise, see what's happened here, you forge the bevels, but there's still way too much material up here. That needed to be thinned down and tapered before you do anything else. What do you think, start again? Or? I think we need to get some mild steel. This is mild steel practice. Right, so let's find some flat stock. This is kind of similar in the dimensions. This is an inch and a quarter wide by six millimeters thick. We'll cut off a handling section or two. It's nice like this because it means that you don't have to worry about getting used to holding tongs, you can hold the piece of steel straight away. So you take these two, put one in the fire for now. This time, let's think a little more about the preform. So we want to think about building our preform back a little further. I want to make sure to check my thickness, bring that preform back to a more acute angle. This now means that as we forge a bevel, we can gently, as we go, address the shape of the knife. We're not going to bring it to the final shape, but we can address it in the sense that we get an idea of where it's gonna go, we adjust it so it doesn't go too far. We'll now set our plunge line, so to speak, which is difficult to do with a hand hammer. Come over now to this side of the anvil. Set the other plunge line, check back our material. Of course, as I thin down that edge, I need to address our shape just a little bit and keep tweaking. So you can see how the preform really dictates how everything goes. It's all about the preform. It's all about making sure that the shapes that you have in your preform reflect the shapes that you want once your edge is drawn out. There's a little example of uh, a little simple, what do you call it, spear point? Spear point knife, yeah. Cool. You want to do one? That's right. Or six. You bring your legs around that way. <laughs> So right now, what you're trying to achieve is move a lot of material, yet you're hitting lightly. So you go from this hunched over to get this angle. Okay, great. But then you're flattening. You better bring your body up, bring your chest out to be able to get that hammer to come down with some velocity. Because when you're crunched down, you don't do it. So 
I just had some great tips from Alec. This was attempt number one. This was attempt number two. Looking way more like it should be. Let's try more. So the last thing you saw me do was practice forging some blades and bevels. Now it is time to practice some handles. good steel to try and make a knife. Yeah, I think I'm ready to try. So, we got some 01 back there. That is not ideal steel for a beginner to try and make a knife with, but it's what we've got. You can take some of that, make yourself a design, work to the design, try your best to follow it and get there. And good luck. Fabulous, beautiful design. Thank you ready? You. Think so? Yeah. Great, give her a go. This is jumping in the deep end. That is after some good hard practice. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. It's been a pleasure as always. I hope that if you want to learn to make a knife, you give it some good old practice, just like intern Alex has been giving it. Good work, Alex. Thank you. Thank you for the tips. Thank you guys very much. Make sure you hit subscribe, and I'm gonna see you on the next episode.